The problem states, determine all possible quadrants in which the point can be located. Assume x cannot equal 0 and y cannot equal 0. To determine where this point is located in which quadrant when x times y is less than 0. So when we draw our graph, we know that this is quadrant 1, this is quadrant 2, this is quadrant 3, and this is quadrant 4. So we have to figure out where the point xy, in which quadrant, is located when x times y is less than 0. So first we have to figure out what does it mean by x times y is less than 0. So we know any number less than 0 is negative. So here we have to figure out when what times what will give you a negative number. So we know opposite signs will give you negatives, meaning positive times negative gives you negative, or negative times positive gives you negative. So that means that the x can either be positive, the y has to be negative. Because when you multiply positive times negative, we get negative. Or we can switch the signs negative and positive it still gives you negative. So that means that the x can be negative and the y can be positive or the x can be positive and the y can be negative. So we have to go through each quadrant and see what signs are x and y. So in quadrant 1 we know that this is the x-axis and this is the origin. So to the right of the origin, x is positive, and the left of the origin, x is negative. And on top of the origin, right here, y is positive. Below the origin, y is negative. So in this quadrant, x and y are both positive. In the second quadrant, x is negative, but y is positive. In the third quadrant, we go here, anything in here, x is negative, and y is also negative. Now in this quadrant, we go x is positive, and y is negative. Always remember, x goes first, so we have to figure out what x is going first, and then we can go either up or down, determining on the y. So, we have to figure out what x and y is negative or positive. So this is what we're looking for. So we have to see where, where it's negative and positive and positive and negative. And when we look at our quadrants, we know it's quadrant 2, negative and positive. And then positive and negative is over here, quadrant 4. Therefore our answer is quadrants 2 and 4. And that answer is C.